Hey, what's up, everybody? Big Mike back again for Wrestling Rants and Reviews. Coming at you with another video. That's right. It's another day in wrestling history. But before we get into it, uh, drop just drop by a thing or two. Uh, a reminder or two. Um, uh, tomorrow is uh, Tell Me More with Big Mike. I don't have very many questions in right now, so it may be just all about me. Uh, I'm not answering any questions. Maybe I'll just uh, do something. I got something up my sleeve. That I think might be interesting. I might try it out. But uh, please, send me in more questions. I'd much rather do the questions. I'd much rather do the Q&A. Please send them to my inbox. And uh, you can ask me anything, like I said. So uh, don't forget to do that. Also, Sundays, I'm going to come. Yeah, I'm going to show Sunday or whatever. Something like that. Uh, I've noticed there's a lot of people out here that just aren't getting that many people to look at them. They're not getting that many subs. They're not getting that many views. And there's a lot of you out there that need the need a shout out, a push or a plug or whatever. Um, because I enjoy your videos. Doesn't mean everybody will, but uh, I'm going to plug you, give you a shot, give you an opportunity to get your stuff looked at because you don't do a half ass job and I think you're doing good. So, uh, you know, everybody deserves a plug, but you got to do it yourself too. You know, you got to, you know, you got to help yourself just as much as anybody else helping you. You know, like I said, always comment as much as you can leave video responses as much as you can, you know, and if you want to leave video responses to me, do it. Because um, I have the open door policy. Um, about 95% of every video that has ever been come to me has been played. So, you know, that's a good way to, uh, you know, get noticed as well as just plugging yourself. You know, leaving comments and video responses, etc. on everybody else's pages. But enough of that. Uh, let's get into this day in wrestling history. And it goes as follows. For August 25th. In 2002, WWE SummerSlam saw the final defense of the WWE Undisputed title and the first match for Shawn Michaels since WrestleMania 14 in 1998. It was held in Uniondale, New York. The Un-Americans, Lance Storm and Christian, defeated Booker T and Goldust. Goldust? Yeah, the Goldust. And to retain the WWE Tag Team titles. Rob Van Dam defeats Chris Benoit to win the Intercontinental title. Shawn Michaels defeats Triple H in an unsanctioned street fight. Uh, Brock Lesnar defeats The Rock to win the Undisputed title. Title changes for this day in wrestling history. 1978, Bruiser Brody defeats Carl Krupp to win the Texas Brass Knuckle title. Uh, 1991, Sting defeats Steve Austin in the final of a tournament to win the vacant NWA United States title. Oh, excuse me. Got the, some hiccups here. 1999, Mitsuhara Masawa and Yoshinari Ogawa defeat No Fear, Takao Mori, and Yoshihiro Takayama. Twin All Japan Pro Wrestling World Tag Team Titles and the All Japan All Asia Tag Team Titles. The All Asia Tag Team Titles were vacated soon after this match. 2000. Yoshihiro Tajiro, Mikey Whipwreck defeated Tommy Dreamer and Jerry Lynn and Simon Diamond and Johnny Swinger in a three way dance to win the vacant ECW Tag Team Titles. And in 2001 on SmackDown, Booker T and Test defeat Kane and Undertaker to win the WCW World Tag Team Titles. Birthdays for this day in wrestling history. Three-time NWA Tag Team Champion David Young turns 39. One-time WWF World Champion Ivan Koloff is 69. Also today would have been the birthday of 22-time WWF slash WWE Hardcore Champion Mike Crash Holly Lockwood. He would have been 40 today. In memoriam today on this day in 2005, the wrestling world lost one-time WWF Tag Team Champion Ed Moondog King White. At the age of 56, White's mainstream wrestling career effectively ended when he was denied entry to the U.S. from Canada in the early 80s. He continued wrestling for Canadian Indies in the following years through failing health restricted and um, through... Uh, I, I fucking botched that, didn't I? He continued wrestling for Canadian Indies in the following years, though failing health restricted... Uh, it's failing health restricted his appearances. He also unsuccessfully tried to, for Canadian Congress in 2000 and 2004. He suffered serious injuries in a car accident later that year, leaving him on life support for the rest of his life. So that's too bad. Uh, condolences go to Edmund Dog King White today, and we wish everybody else out there a happy birthday on, on a brighter note. And that's it. That's all, folks. That's um, your day in wrestling history. And don't forget to send me in some questions for Q&A tomorrow with Tell Me More with Big Mike. And also, uh, don't forget Sunday. Shout out Sunday and uh, look for me later. 
I think I said this a couple days in a row and haven't done it. Just because, I don't know, I haven't had the feeling to do it. But uh, I'm going to come back with a wrestling video. A straight from the heart wrestling video. Something I haven't done in a while. So stay tuned, stay tuned for that. Because I feel, uh, you know, I'm cheaping you guys out lately. So, uh, Anyways, I'm Big Mike. And that's that.